We are very, very excited about a banner year for women as Georgia Democrats finish the job of turning Georgia blue in 2022. All of us have watched the Supreme Court confirmation hearings, and we know that history is being made, but we also know that Roe v. Wade is under challenge like never before. We will first hear from Senator Jen Jordan about the importance of having a woman attorney general. Hey, my name is State Senator Jen Jordan. And I like to say that with respect to my race, it was a canary in the coal mine for the state of Georgia. In 2017, at the end of it, we were the first um, campaign to flip a seat from red to blue. Um, and it really did start the process of women running, winning, and then doing so incredibly well. I can't tell you how many of these women that I am proud of um, and that are here because of the work of WinList, but also because of the work of all the women that came before. With respect to Attorney General, I would be the first woman Attorney General in the state of Georgia. That's right. And I think what we know with respect to really the attack on women in this state, the attack on their rights, their ability um, to have autonomy over their bodies, the ability just to make decisions about their, their families and their children. All of those decisions are trying to be taken away um, by the folks that currently hold those positions. I think it's time that a woman um, steps into this role, and I think it's even more important than ever um, in light of the fact that the Supreme Court will be deciding the Dobbs case in June, and no doubt Roe v. Wade will be overturned, and then at the state level, that's where the fight is really going to be um, for the rights of women now, but also for our daughters. Um, I am looking forward to 2022. I am looking forward to talking to folks all over this state about our values and what we can do for them. Because I can tell you that when we talk to them and when they actually have a choice, they always go with us. So thank you all so much and thank you, Melita. I'm Nicole Horn, and I am a Democrat running to be the next Labor Commissioner of Georgia. And when we talk about this seat, we have to talk about what happened to families. What happened to the families that are frequently led by women, women who were displaced through no fault of their own because of the pandemic. Women, fathers, mothers who applied for unemployment and y'all, we are two years into this pandemic and people are still waiting four to six months for their unemployment benefits. And I bring this up because this safety net was put into the hands of a Republican executive officer. And the Republican agenda is one in which we disregard safety nets, in which we don't strengthen families, in which we don't fund ways to make communities stronger. When you talk about women being in office, these are the things we are talking about. When you talk about Democrats being in office, these are the things that we are talking about. Strong safety nets, pathways to better jobs, Programs, the purpose of government being to strengthen community, not to hold back and say goodbye and good luck. That is not why, that is not the government we should be demanding. And women as leaders will demand more and demand better. I am one of several women running for constitutional offices in the state of Georgia. Um, Senator Jordan said she will be the first attorney general. I will be the first elected labor commissioner, uh, first woman elected labor commissioner. We need working moms at the helm of state government. We are the ones who know how to spin multiple plates, how to actually get things done. Man, if you want something done, give it to a working mom. 
And women are the ones who have fought these battles to make sure the playing field is even. Get more women behind Stacey Abrams. Make sure she's got a great team that she can work with. And let's get to a point where we continue to break glass ceilings. Down with glass ceilings, up for electing women who will get the job done. I'm so proud to be a win list endorsed candidate. So proud of the women behind me who stand with me in this vision. Thanks so much, Melita. Good morning, everyone. I'm June Chris, and I want to thank Melita Easters and the Georgia Win List Board of Directors for endorsing my candidacy for House District 8. I'm a registered nurse, a mother, a grandmother, a small business owner, and I'm a candidate for the House of Representatives. I'm a candidate in House District 8, which includes most of White County, all of Union and Towns counties in North Georgia. I live in an area of the state where Democrats are heavily outnumbered by Republicans. Two years ago, a group of Democratic women leaders in the area, and some men, stepped up to run for office when there had not been Democrats on the ballot for years. In fact, it scared the Republicans so badly that they had to gerrymander many of us out of the districts we ran in two years ago hoping that we would not run again. But that did not happen. Many of us stepped up again and qualified to run for office in other races. So the moral of that story is, the Republicans can gerrymander us, but they cannot silence our voices. North Georgia Democrats, <laughs> North Georgia Democrats want candidates on the ballot that they can vote for. Democratic candidates working in campaigns in red districts can move the needle just a little bit, and this can boost our statewide ticket to victory. Running for office gives Democrats a bully pulpit to talk more about progressive representation, and it lets people in rural red districts know that many times they're voting against their own interest, especially when it comes to protecting the Affordable Care Act, to extending Medicaid to cover more of our uninsured and to help keep our rural hospitals open, or bringing broadband to rural areas to provide better information and bringing more businesses to the area. In my area of North Georgia and the 9th Congressional District, there is not one woman, Democrat or Republican, serving in the legislature. So it's no wonder that women's issues like reproductive rights, equal pay, domestic violence, and protecting our beautiful North Georgia environment are not prioritized by the men that represent us in our district. In fact, they are under attack. I'll do better. You can find out more about June Chris, me, at gawinlist.com or junechrisforgeorgia.com. And thank you again for this endorsement. Well, good, good morning or afternoon, everyone. I'm so grateful that you are here to celebrate women running for office and winning in office. You can take a very short walk across the street and around the block and see that our safety net here in Georgia is broken. People who are living in tents and sleeping on sidewalks. And if you were to take a walk in the middle of the night, you'd find families sleeping in cars because there's no affordable housing available. Our safety net here in Georgia is broken. And the legislation that's been offered to fix our issues, particularly pertaining to homelessness, have been simply to criminalize homelessness. What we need is compassionate legislation to deal with these issues, and that's one of the things that women do so well. We bring compassion and thoughtfulness. We bring hope 
to our people who live in this great state. And so therefore we need more women who can bring that lens, that compassionate lens that has sympathy and empathy for those for whom our system has not worked. I also want to lift up the reason why we need more women and the reason why I celebrate that there are so many women who are running is because we like to work together in ways that perhaps others don't. I am a testimony. <laughs> I can testify that as a freshman legislator, my success that I've had is only because of the collaborative work that I've had with other women legislators and a help from a few good men. <laughs> women are able to collaborate and we need more women who are here to work together to bring our powers together so that we might continue to work to shore up our safety net to make sure that working families have a place to sleep that's not their cars to make sure that people have access to the mental health that they need. Together, women can make a huge difference in this great state. We can bring the compassion that is so greatly needed on behalf of all Georgians. And so I want to thank Winless for all of the work that you do to recruit women, to train us so that we can run and then bring our great perspective to this great capital. Thank you so much.